good morning and sai ram i welcome you all with my happy heart i am expecting that you must all are doing quite well and have spent your summer vacation wonderfully now it's time to come back to your daily routine without wasting our time let us start today's lecture before summer vacation we have done our first chapter of chemistry metal our surrounding in that chapter we have done what is matter classification of matter on the basis of physical property in this video we will start our new chapter that is is matter around us pure so in this chapter we will study about classification of matter on the basis of chemical composition on the basis of chemical composition topics to be covered introduction and pure substance let us start with our chapter what is matter we have done earlier yes matter is anything which occupies space and have its own mass is known as matter example of matter air water any liquid any gas solids they all are the example of matter my question is is they are present in their pure form in the surrounding no they all are not present in the pure form some are the pure form and some are present in the mixture so in this chapter we will study classification of the matter on the basis of chemical composition let us start this is a flow chart of classification of matter now matter can be classified into two types on the basis of chemical composition first one is pure substance first one is pure substance and second one is mixture now what do you mean by pure substance pure means there should be no impurity it should be made up of only one kind of substance that is known as your pure substance clear mixture can be prepared by more than one substance and that type of substance is known as your mixture clear matter can be classified into two types one is your pure substance and one is your mixture now pure substance can be further classified into two types one is your element and one is your compound element cannot be yes divided into simpler unit and compounds are those substance which are hold chemically bonded which are chemically bonded that substance is known as your compound now your mixture also can be classified into two types one is your homogeneous mixture and another one is your heterogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture are those mixture which are completely mixed with each other you can see only one face and heterogeneous mixture are those mixture in which you can see the substance separately okay these we will study in detail in this chapter so let us start our first topic is pure substance now what do you mean by pure substance see pure substance is one is one which is made up of only one type of particle definition is it over here a pure substance is one which is made up of only one kind of particles there should be no other particles now these particles can be your atom and your molecules these at particles can be your atoms or molecules it is not compulsory that only atom should be there it can be molecule also for example carbon sulfur water and calcium oxide clear now i will explain this with the help of diagram if you will take copper 
सिंबल ऑफ कॉपर इज सी यू क्लियर and if you will see with the help of microscope it will look like this if i will draw this is also cu particle atom cu 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 and cu cu is the chemical symbol of copper now if i will break this from here what i will get i will again get the copper's atom if i will break like this what i will get i will get again copper if i will break like this copper so you can't divide copper into any other simpler unit if you will break again and again you will get copper so with this we can say that a pure substance is that substance which is made up of only one kind of atom or molecule now molecule i will explain later okay so i think this is clear to you what is pure substance pure substance is one which is made up of only one kind of particles which is made up of only one kind of particles and these particles can be your atoms or molecules these particles can be your atoms or molecules example copper sulfur water and calcium oxide etc these all are the example of your pure substance now we have i have already told you that pure substance can be classified into two types classified into two types first is your elements and second is your compounds first is your elements and second is your compound now we will study elements and compounds in detail तो फर्स्ट इज अवर एलिमेंट वट डू मीन बाई एन एलिमेंट एन एलिमेंट इज सब्सटेंस विच कैन नॉट बी स्प्लिट अप इन टू सिंपलर यूनिट बाई एनी केमिकल मेथड एंड बाई योर अप्लाइंग हीट बाई अप्लाइंग एनर्जी यू कैन स्प्लिट अप इन टू सिंपलर यूनिट आई गेव यू एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑक्सीज कॉपर नाउ इन दिस वी विल टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सिंबल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज ओ if we will see the diagram these all are the atom of oxygen so o o o o o if i will apply any chemical method if i will apply heat i will apply electrical uh, energy what will happen this will break but it will break into only oxygen particles or on, into an oxygen atom it will not give you some other element or some other substance so in simple language you can say that an element is a substance which cannot be split into simpler unit by any method clear now example hydrogen oxygen carbon silicon the they all are the example of your elements now these elements can be solid liquids and gases it is not compulsory that ki all elements elements present in the solid form they can be your they can be present in a solid form they can be present in a liquid form and they can be present in a gas form clear so i am reading this slide one more time an element is a substance which cannot be split up which cannot be split up into two or more simpler substances into two or more simpler substances by the usual chemical methods of applying heat electrical and light energy clear example of elements are hydrogen carbon potassium silicon calcium these all are the example of your elements now elements can be present in the form of solids in the forms of, in the form of liquids and in the form of gases clear now elements can be divided into three groups one is your metal second is your non metal and third is your metalloid that means first you can classify metal into two types one is your pure substance 
and one is your mixture after that you can classify pure substance into two types one is your elements and one is your compound now you can classify elements into three types one is your metal one is your non metal and one is your metalloid in how many types you can classify elements three types first is your element so metal second is your non metal and third is your metalloid clear now start with metals what are metals a metal is an element that is malleable ductile and conduct electricity write the definition of metal metal is an element that is malleable ductile and conduct electricity clear i will explain this term properties of metal are metals are malleable now what do you mean by malleable 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 is a property of property of metal in which we can convert element into a thin sheet by bitten up it clear example aluminium the aluminium file which you use for wrapping your food that is element aluminium is element and you can use in the form of yes sheet so how it convert into sheet by bitten up with the hammer so this property is known as your malleability what do you mean by malleability when a metal is bitten up bitten up and convert into thin sheet is known as your malleability example aluminum foil which we are used for a wrapping our food and i think you must all know that silver silver also we use for decorating the food basically for sweets so these all are the example of malleability now second is metals are ductile metals are ductile what do you mean by ductile in malleability you convert metal into thin sheet in ductility you convert metal into thin wire that means in ductility you convert metal into thin wire for example iron wire okay these all this process is known as your ductility now third point metals are good conductor of heat and electricity that means all the metal all the metal are the good conductor of heat and electricity that means they can pass heat and electricity easily because of this we use wires which is made up of metal if metal will not conduct electricity that means it is a bad conductor of heat and electricity if current will not flow how will uh, light glow clear and which is the best conductor of electricity which metal is the best conductor of electricity silver is the best conductor of electricity copper is also that's why we use copper wire for electricity here yes, silver is costly so metal are good conductor of heat and electricity and which is the best uh, conductor of heat and electricity which metal silver metal clear so i'm reading these three points one more time metal is malleable malleable means convert into thin sheet metals are ductile ductile means that is converted into thin wire metals are good conductor of heat and electricity that means if metals are that's why metals are uh, that's why we are using metals in our electrical purpose and which metal is best conductor of heat and electricity silver clear let us move now metals are lustrous metal are lustrous and can be polished what do you mean by lustrous lustrous means shiny lustrous means shiny you all see na that your copper is lustrous copper is also shine gold shines silver shines and they can be used yes we can polish them also so metals are lustrous and can be polished metals are lustrous and can be polished example your gold silver and copper clear now see uh, this thing symbol of gold is ag au clear silver is ag and copper is cu clear 
now metals are generally hard except potassium and sodium clear metals are generally hard iron is hard yes it is metal clear copper hard all metals are hard except potassium and sodium except potassium and sodium and potassium and sodium are not hard and they can be cut easily with the knife they cut they can cut easily with the knife symbol of potassium is k see learn symbol huh symbol of potassium is k and symbol of sodium is n a symbol of potassium is k and symbol of uh, sodium is n a so our next property is metals are solid at room temperature all the metals are solid at room temperature iron solid copper solid gold solid silver solid clear these all are the example it indicates that metal are solid at a room temperature except mercury mercury is only the metal which is liquid at room temperature other than this all metals are solid at room temperature now third metal are sonorous what do you mean by sonorous sonorous means which makes sound clear okay, if you will throw a iron ball but it will produce sound yes it will produce sound so metal are sonorous metal usually have silver and gray, gray color all the metals are silver and gray color except gold and copper they entirely have different color gold is yellow and copper is copper <laughs> clear metals have high densities all the metal have high densities except potassium and sodium because they are not hard metals have high melting and boiling point except sodium and potassium why except sodium and potassium because they are not hard if why uh, because the bond between the bond between the potassium and sodium atoms are not that much strong so if the bond if the bond is not strong then the boiling point and melting point will be low this thing we have done earlier in first chapter clear so i am reading one more time all the properties of metal firstly what are metal metal are an element which have malleability property ductility property and they conduct electricity and properties are metals are malleable malleable means they convert into thin sheet malleable means they convert into thin sheet second metals are ductile metals are ductile ductile means they convert into thin wire metals are good conductor of heat and electricity except uh, metals are good conductor of heat and electricity and silver is the best conductor of electricity after that metals are lustrous and can be polished example copper silver and gold metals are generally hard except sodium and potassium what is the symbol of sodium it is n a capital n and small a and what is the symbol of potassium it is k metals are solid at a room temperature except mercury except mercury what is the uh, symbol of mercury it is h g it is capital h and small g clear now metals are sonorous metals are sonorous metals usually have silver and gray color except copper and gold metals have high densities metals have high densities except potassium and sodium metals have high melting and boiling point except potassium and sodium so these all are the properties of metal i think this metal is clear to you now our second topic is non metals what are non metals see non metals are just opposite of metals 
नॉन मेटल्स आर जस्ट अपोजिट ऑफ मेटल्स दैट मीन्स वट एवर प्रॉपर्टी मेटल्स आर हैविंग जस्ट अपोजिट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दैट नॉन मेटल विल हैव ओके जस्ट लेट्स सी नॉन मेटल इज एन एलिमेंट दैट इज नाइदर मेलेबल दैट इज नाइदर मेलेबल एंड डक्टाइल मेटल्स आर मेलेबल एंड डक्टाइल सो नॉन मेटल्स आर नॉन मेलेबल एंड डक्टाइल एंड दे डज नॉट कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी with this i think clear to you non metal are just opposite of metals metals are malleable ductile and conduct electricity non metals are non malleable non ductile and they does not conduct electricity clear so with this we can say that non metals are non malleable they are brittle non malleable means they we can't convert non metal into thin sheets non metals are non ductile that means we cannot convert non metal into thin wire non metals are bad conductor of electricity and heat non metals are bad conductor of heat and electricity only carbon forms not carbon carbon is not good conductor of heat and electricity but if carbon is present in the form of graphite and diamond that time a carbon diamond and the graphite is a good conductor of heat and electricity clear next property is non metal are non lustrous that means they are not shiny except iodine iodine is a showing lustrous property some exceptions are there okay non metals are generally soft non metals are generally soft Ex except carbon in the form of diamond okay in the form of diamond in the form of diamond it is a hardest element now non metals can be solid liquid and gases at room temperature clear it, it not this not compulsory so non metal metals are present in a solid form but non metals can be solid liquid and gases non metals have low density because the bond between them is low if the bond is low density is also low non metals have comparatively low boiling and melting point low boiling and melting point non metals are non sonorous they will not make sound and they have different colors clear shall i read once more non metals are non malleable and they are brittle non metals are ductile non metals are bad conductor of heat and electricity non metals are non lustrous except iodine non metals are generally soft except carbon in the form of graphite non metals can be liquid and gases at the room temperature non metals have low densities no non metals have comparatively low boiling and melting points non metals are non sonorous non metals have many different colors clear now there is a difference between metals and non metals first difference is solid metals are good conductor of electricity theek hai non metals usually do not conduct electricity metals are shiny in appearance non metals are dull in appearance metals are strong and hard non metals are usually weak and soft metals can be bent and stretched non metals usually brittle and break down easily non metals are good conductor of metals are good conductor of heat and electricity and non metals are bad conductor of heat and electricity i think with this metal and difference between metal and non metal is clear to you now the third one is metalloids metalloids are those element which shows the properties of both which show the properties of both that means which show the property of metals and non metal some properties of metal and some properties of non metal that type of element is known as your metalloids that type of metal is known as your metalloids example boron silicon etc these all are the example of metalloids 
so in this video what we have done we have done classification of matter on the basis of chemical composition so matter can be classified into two types one is your pure substance and one is your mixture pure substance further divided into two parts elements and compounds and your compounds can be uh, your mixture can be classified into two types one is your homogeneous mixture and one is your heterogeneous mixture in this video we have done about pure substance pure substance is what which cannot be divide into yes what impurity should not be there and it is present in the pure form pure substance present the pure form with this we have covered pure substance in next video we will do compounds and mixture thank you and sai ram to all